Hi, it's uh, Patrick with Above and Beyond Sewing. Um, as I promised all of you, uh, we are going to start doing a video series um, at least once a month uh, to show you some of the different features on the uh, Baby Lock Solaris and the Baby Lock Destiny. Um, this is actually um, the first one of those. We're actually going to be doing the Baby Lock Club from January of 2019. Um, we uh, focus this month on the continuous border feature for both machines. So we're actually going to go through and, uh, and show you how the continuous border option works on both the Solaris and then I'm going to take you over to the Destiny also and show you how it works on the Destiny because they're just a little bit different in how, they, um, uh, how you put in dimensions and things of that nature. Now everything that I show you, um, you can do on the Solaris. Um, some of the features are exclusive to the Solaris though. The first one that I'm going to show you is a brand new feature they just put on this machine. Um, and it's a built-in quilting feature that they, they have for it. So um, the quilting feature is really neat. You can actually build your design based on the size of your placemat or your table runner or whatever you're going to be putting a continuous border on. Um, and uh, again, that's what I want to show you first. Um, the menu that I'm talking about um, when you open your up, up your Solaris, the, you've got a, a menu with a queue on it here. So it's your built-in quilting menu or your uh, continuous border menu for this. When you touch that button, you've got a choice of 10 different patterns to choose from where we can actually pick uh, a, a variety of different styles. Um, the one that I'm going to do, I've actually sold this out here, but it's going to be this little floral design here that we actually are building, again, this little template here to put around our placemat. Um, so the placemat that I have is actually about a 15 inch placemat by 10 inches um, and it has this little border on the side of it. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it's got a little border on the side of it that's about an inch long. So I'm actually going to build my, um, my run or the, the pattern that I want to put on there um, at about 13 inches in width. Um, in order to do that, I'm going to pick the pattern that I want. I'll pick that little flower one that I used before. Uh, we're going to touch set. And you can see it's got three different boxes up here um, that it just wants measurements for. Um, the measurements are in inches here. So I'm going to pick a 13 inch and you can see there's a blue highlight on that. Um, uh, uh, again, the, we're, we're actually measuring the length on this. I'm going to put in 13 inches for my length and I'm going to touch the set button. Then it's going to ask for the width of this particular um, uh, placemat. And um, again, it's 10 inches the placemat is, and I want to leave about a half an inch on each side, so I'm going to make that 9 inches. Again, just touch the 9 and the set button. And then we're going to ask, the, the, the machine is asking me how big I want to make the actual flowers that I put onto the placemat itself. So, and again, every one of these numbers actually has a range on it, so you can see um, we've got a little bit of a limitation here on what the Solaris will allow us to, um, uh, to do on our, our placemat. We're limited to about 19.69 inches in length, so about a 20 inch placemat, and about a 30 inch in depth. So again, you've got a, a pretty large range to work from, but uh, you do have to keep that in mind. Um, if you're going to use this feature, it is going to be limited to those particular measurements because this is a two hooping system that we're actually using to, um, uh, to make our, our placemat and table runner. Um, so back to uh, the size that we want to put in our design, we got a range there of 1.18 to 2.25. I'm going to choose right about in the middle of that, about a 1.5 um, um, inch uh, design and I'm going to touch set on that. So now I've got the dimensions of the design that I want to put onto my placemat. I'm going to touch the next button and the machine will automatically split that design for us based on how big the dimensions are that we put. And you can see the red line on there where it's actually split it for us. And it's telling us the order that we want to actually sew those in with the little numbers one and two down at the bottom here. So I've actually hooped up my, um, my little placemat here. Um, I just used a, a regular tearaway with, um, with a KK2000 to actually stick that down in place there. Um, and now we're going to actually sew out this design. Um, by touching the memory button here, it tells the machine that I'm happy with what I've done. I'm going to touch OK and it automatically saves that design into memory for me on that very first little icon here. Once I bring that up, 
it's now going to ask me, okay, how do we actually want to sew this out? Um, we can actually sew it out um, aligning the design manually by touching these numbers one and two, or we can actually have the camera on the machine and the projector on the screen actually do the alignment for us. And that's what this little first little icon is here. Um, that's the one I'm going to touch, and it'll bring up the first half of that design for me to actually sew out. I'm going to touch the set button, and voila, it brings it up onto my screen, and I am ready to go um, on my sew out here. So before I do that, I'm actually going to go ahead and touch this. You can see there's a new little icon on our Solaris. Um, it's a, a little three little bars here that's telling me that we are in continuous pattern mode. So after I get done sewing out this design, it's going to ask me for a couple of positioning stickers. And for those of you who don't know what those are, they're these little snowman looking things. Um, again, they're the positioning stickers that we use so the camera can recognize um, where to place designs on our fabric. And I'll show you how those work in just a second here. Um, so I'm going to touch that button and it brings my design up onto the screen. Um, so now I'm going to show you another really cool feature on the Solaris that um, is, is pretty amazing actually. It's the projector feature on the machine. I'm actually going to hoop up my fabric here. And um, I am then going to touch this little, it looks like a little cone, right up above the word layout on my, my Solaris screen and it's going to actually turn on our projector. You can see it actually uh, highlights onto the fabric, um, the, the projector, and I can physically move where that camera goes uh, or where the projector goes by moving on my screen and it'll physically move that design up. And you can see how it shows me exactly where that's going to be placed um, on, my, on my garment. I can also move it down to the bottom corner here, again, just simply by clicking and dragging on my screen. And again, you can see it's putting the, the design up um, or a little bit closer to the bottom than it was on the top. So I can see that before I ever sew it, and I can physically move that design up until I get it so it's even on both sides of the design. So again, it's just a really cool feature. Uh, you you never have you have no excuse now. You should never have to ruin anything um, because you can actually see how it's going to sew before it actually sews. So once I get it aligned the way I want to, it's um, time to sew. So we're going to go ahead and just touch the start button, and the machine is going to take off and do the first part of this pattern. So it, uh, it'll take off. Once it finishes sewing this um, uh, half of the pattern, it's then going to ask me for two positioning stickers, two of these little snowmen. So it can align the second half of the design with where it sewed out the first half of the design. Um, again, it's a really, really incredible feature that um, most of the time when you do these multi-hooping techniques, it's really hard to get the two designs to meet where you want them to meet. Um, but the camera is doing it for us, which makes it completely, um, if I can do it, then anybody can do it, I put it that way. Uh, so again, we're gonna let it finish this, and then I'm gonna show you exactly how those, um, those positioning stickers work um, on, our, uh, on our project. Okay, so we've finished sewing the first half of this pattern out now, um, and it is all ready for the next part. And you can see on my screen that it tells me the embroidery is finished, and is it okay to connect the next pattern? Um, all I'm going to do is touch my OK button, and it's going to bring up the second half of that particular um, uh, design. So uh, again, I've got the second half up there. I've got the same little connection icon here, so I know that I'm still in continuous border mode. I'm going to touch that connection icon, and it's going to ask me, okay, exactly where do we want to place the second half of the design based on where we sewed out the first half. You could actually offset this if a, a little bit if you wanted to. Um, again, I want to connect it perfectly because we got a perfectly rectangle um, placemat here. 
So um, I'm going to just leave it at default where it's zero and zero, but you can actually use these movement icons to move the second half of the design anywhere um, within the, the parameters of the, of the hoop um, for, to connect the second half of the design. So I'm going to actually just touch this OK button because we want to leave it exactly where it's at. And it's going to tell me um, now that it needs two positioning stickers. And you can see the projector. This is where the, the Solaris is a little bit different than the Destiny. The Solaris actually uses the projector for our positioning stickers and actually puts a little picture where we want to put those positioning stickers onto our fabric. So you can actually, hopefully you guys can see the, the little red icon on the fabric here. And you can hopefully see it a little bit better now with the picture of the, um, uh, uh, of the positioning sticker. And I'm going to just align this positioning sticker perfectly with the area that the projector puts it in. So again, I want to make sure that it's absolutely identical. Get my hands out of the way there. I'm going to try to do this one more time because I didn't get that quite as perfect as I wanted it to be. And again, nice thing about this on the Solaris is because it's right on the fabric, it's really, really easy to put that positioning sticker exactly where it needs to be. Once I've done that, I'm going to touch the scan button over on my screen, and it is going to go out and it is going to find that positioning sticker. So it's searching and it's searching, and it's now found it, and now it's going to ask for a second one of those to align the second part of that design. So again, all the wording is actually up on your screen here so you know exactly what you need to do. We're going to take a second positioning sticker, we're going to align it perfectly onto our fabric just like, um, just like the first one. We're again going to touch the scan button on my screen and it is going to go out and it's going to find that second positioning sticker. I'm going to Okay, so we're going to go ahead and make sure that our fabric is down and we're going to do a second positioning sticker here. Again, touch the scan button. And it's now recognized both of those marks. So again, up on my screen, it's telling me that both of the positioning marks are recognized. Now it's telling me that it's okay to rehoop the material. So I can actually go in and physically remove this fabric from my hoop and rehoop for the second part of this design. So um, we're going to go ahead and do that here. We can tear away the stabilizer. And I've got a new piece of stabilizer that I'm going to use for the second half of this design. I can gives me an opportunity here to show you exactly how we hoop. Okay, so I'm going to get ready for the second half by hooping up another piece of the tearaway. And we're going to again utilize, we're going to utilize the KK2000 to give us a sticky working surface there. And 
as long as these positioning stickers stay in place, again, we can do whatever we want with that fabric because the camera is what's going to align the design. So um, I'm going to go ahead and spray my KK2000 down onto my stabilizer. I'm going to put my fabric onto that stabilizer. And make sure that it's all in place here. And now we're going to put our hoop back into the machine. And now the machine is going to go out and find those two positioning stickers simply by touching the scan button over on my screen. So touch your scan button, again, it's going to go out, it's going to search for those positioning stickers. And there it goes, it just found the first one and it's going to align that design. Now if we've hooped the fabric a little bit crooked or we've um, even hooped it upside down or whatever, it is going to align the design absolutely perfectly because of the location of these positioning stickers. It goes out, it finds the second one, and again you can see how precise it gets. And now it's telling me and then I'm a little bit out of the embroidery area. So I'm going to have to move this down just a hair. And again, glad I made that mistake because it's actually telling me that it won't let you sew if you are not absolutely perfect where you need to be. So we're just going to realign this. And we're going to try that again. So I meant to do that, that type of thing. So again, it's going to go out and hopefully I've got it within the sewing area of the hoop this time. Again, it finds that first sticker. It's then going to go and it's going to find the second sticker. Okay, so we're actually searching for that first sticker. It finds the first sticker. Now it's going to search for the second sticker. And it finds that second sticker. And it's telling me that all is good now. So again, I've uh, repositioned that and made sure that the, the stickers are all in good place. It's telling me that the positioning marks are recognized and I can now remove them from the fabric. So we're just going to pick those up from our fabric. And we are then ready to actually sew out the second half of this design. It's taken it, and again, I've hooped that a little bit crooked and you can see on your screen, on my screen here, that the design has actually moved a little bit crooked to accommodate that. So uh, again, it's, it's absolutely foolproof. You, you, um, it will physically align that design and you can see where it actually aligns the second half of that design absolutely perfectly with the first half. There's no way you can even tell that we've unhooped this fabric and rehooped it when we're doing our uh, design alignment. So it's going to sew out the second half of this design 
really nice and quick and easy, and we are going to have a completed placemat simply by putting in the dimensions of our of our fabric. Okay, so the design is just about to finish sewing here, and I wanted to show you how, again, it's going to, the first half of the design, um, it's going to align the second half of the design absolutely perfectly with the first half. So, again, you can see how those positioning stickers, again, work to a T, and absolutely, the design is absolutely spot on, perfect, with where that design started up here and finished down here. So again, that's the way to use your continuous border option um, with that new quilting menu on the Solaris. Um, now the next thing I want to show you is how this same type of procedure is going to work on the Destiny, because again it's just a tiny bit different on the Destiny than it is on the Solaris. So we're going to switch over here a little bit and we're going to move over to the Destiny behind me here. And again, our Destiny um, doesn't have that projector technology. So when we're actually doing the, um, the alignment of our continuous border feature, um, now again, everything that I'm going to show you on the Destiny here, we can actually do on the Solaris also. So that feature that I showed you earlier was just a new feature for the, for the Solaris. But again, on the Destiny, we actually have um, our continuous border option that we can use. It's more of a manual process, but it still is really, really effective and really, really fun to, to utilize. So in order to do that, we've got to, um, I'm going to pull up, you can do this with any pattern, by the way. I want to emphasize that on with any pattern, with any hoop. You don't have to have a continuous border hoop to use this feature. You can use it with any hoop, and you can use it with any pattern. They've got a wonderful quilting menu in, in your destiny um, and spelled out for you right there on the screen um, that gives you a whole bunch of continuous border style patterns. Um, you've got some corner patterns on there, some circle patterns. Um, all of them actually match so you can actually utilize them together. Um, one of the ones that I'm going to use actually is this little um, tulip looking, uh, looking design here. Um, it's multicolored and that's why I want to use it. So we're actually going to touch that button and we're going to bring that design up onto our screen. Um, so again, it brings up just one of those patterns. If we're going to do this as a continuous border, chances are we want to make a large column of these. So we can actually, I'm going to actually move that up to the top of my hoop. I'm going to touch my edit button here and you can see a new I a, a little icon here that's your continuous border icon with the um, nine different little square boxes here. I'm going to simply touch that and now we can actually build a, a little matrix of what we want to do with this uh, with this design. We can actually add designs below it and we could even um, and again you can see it's actually put two and two of them together and it's aligned them absolutely perfectly. We can also go side to side if we touch a little button up here on the side and we could put these to the side and you can see how fast and how easy it is to actually build that uh, that pattern for us if we wanted to put this onto um, a pillowcase or a bed sheet or anything else. So the other thing that we can actually do is we can spread these apart or we can move them close together simply by touching our boxes here. So that's again going to move them closer together. This one's going to spread them apart and you can see how fast and easy it does that um, for us. Um, in this particular function. So we've got that all built. Again, the icon that I was using is this little box with the nine squares on it, and we're then ready to actually sew that design out onto our pillowcase or onto our bedsheet or whatever, whatever um, we're going to sew on. Um, 
I'm going to simply, again, you can see now we've got an embroidery button here. You don't have those three little boxes that we had on the Solaris. I'm going to touch my embroidery button, and this is where we're actually going to find the, um, find the icon to go into our continuous border mode. That icon, you can see my three little boxes. The icons are the same, so it's really easy for you to transfer between the, um, the Solaris and the Destiny. I'm going to touch that continuous border option, and now we're actually in continuous border mode. Once I actually sew these designs out, it will actually ask me for those two positioning stickers on my uh, Destiny, just like it did on the Solaris. And again, the same feature. So if we wanted to do this over and over and over again, it'll stay in continuous border mode as many times as we want to, um, to uh, sew this design out. So um, the other thing that I want to show you about this continuous border mode, you can see I've actually got six of these different um, tulip patterns in there. We built six different combinations. It's also automatically color sorted those for us. So we will sew out all of the pinks first and then all of the um, the darker um, fuchsia colors second. So again we only have one, two color changes to make even though we have six different patterns on that screen. So um, so again uh, just a really cool easy way to get into your continuous border mode by using your positioning stickers, it'll sew these designs out, it'll ask us where we want to align the, the next set of designs and, and do it all for us. So that is our embroidery tip of the month for embroidery, or excuse me, for Baby Lock Club for January of 2019. Um, stay tuned, we're going to actually do this in three separate videos. So my next uh, video is actually going to be um, how to use the IQ designer to do your own applique. So uh, look forward to seeing you in the next month's club and uh, thanks for listening.